Today, for the first time, we're celebrating the feast of St. Damien of Molokai, who was canonized last October. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I'm sure you've heard of Damien, the Belgian missionary who went to Hawaii in 1864. Normally, saints are honored on the day of their death, but Damien died on April 15th. So why do we honor him today? Well, May 10th is the day in the year 1873 when he volunteered for the great work of charity for which he is known. Here's how Pope Benedict put it when he canonized Damien last year. Not without fear and repugnance, he chose to go to the island of Molokai to serve the lepers who lived there, abandoned by all. Thus, he was exposed to the disease from which they suffered. He felt at home with them. The servant of the word consequently became a suffering servant, a leper with the lepers for the last four years of his life. In order to follow Christ, Father Damien not only left his homeland, but also risked his health. Where did Damien get the courage and charity to do this? When he beatified him, Pope John Paul II said, he drew his strength from the contemplation of the Eucharist, the mystery of love in which Christ truly communicates with the one who receives him and whom he invites to total dedication. So while you and I may not be called away from our homes to serve lepers in far off places, we are called to love in a selfless way and the power to do that's found where St. Damien of Molokai found it, in the Holy Eucharist. Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.